There's a lot of gloom out there on any given Friday in the most unloved bull market. How about a single best chart in honor of Marty Zweig? The trend is your friend. And this is a great chart of the 50 and 200 day moving average. I rarely use them, but if I was teaching at a college course on kisses and moving averages, this is a gorgeous chart. Kate Moore, this is as elegant as it gets. The 50 comes right down touches the 200 day and the trend just keeps going up. Look, I'm no technician, Tom, but that is indeed a beautiful chart and uh, and one that I'm very supportive of. I think the big key is going to be when we really get into second quarter earnings or the first half full measure. Yeah. Do we get continued supportive guidance from companies that indicate they're going to the earnings power they've had in the first yeah. half is sustainable? If that's the case, I think that chart ends up looking great for the balance of the year. Yeah, and John Farrell will throw this out on radio as well, but it really shows that idea of a trend is always tested. You're supposed yeah. to be tested within a trend up or a trend down. Kate Moore, what I want to get into with you is just confirmation bias and how people have been conditioned by the financial crisis. I mean, Tom on this program always talks about this unloved bull market. Right. And in many ways, people are still conditioned by the crisis that was about a decade ago. Why? And do you see that in clients still in quite a pervasive way? I mean, there are three questions we get asked all the time about the equity market. How worried are you about volatility? We talked about that before. How worried are you about valuations? And are you worried that the market is vulnerable, particularly that there's not enough depth and breadth to the leadership. And so we, we talk through this, but I think a lot of this is stemming from the length of this bull market. <clears throat> Everyone expects because we are eight years in, we are definitely going to end sometime soon. And I think it's, it's totally inconsistent when, with the story we're seeing on earnings, as I was saying before, our view that we are not near the end yeah. in terms of <clears throat> macroeconomic expansion.